<clears throat> okay, you guys, now we're really starting to have some fun. So the next thing we're going to do is this one right here. Really, really cool, this one. Um, and I'm going to come to Illustrator, and I'm going to choose my swatches again. And, I, and I'm going to um, find the paintbrush, and I'm going to double-click on it and make sure that um, I got some smoothing happening here. So it's pretty smooth. And I'm going to make sure my um, line is black and on my brushes, I'm just going to choose this touching, touch calligraphic brush. Very simple. And my stroke is going to be just one. Yours can be bigger if you want. And I'm just going to make some like cloud or mountain shapes like this. And I'm using my trackpad on my laptop, so it's not going to look very good. But yours is going to look better with a mouse or with the um tablets if you're using one and even this is gonna look all right i'm just gonna make them look like this she uses a lot of these i'm just gonna make a few and she kind of follows her own loops like this and remember if i don't like something I can just select it and move it a little bit so I can make it look a little better. Make a loop, more of a loop. That's fine for right now. I'm going to make a couple more of these. You can also Command Z undo. You know, you guys. There you go. Okay, these look pretty cool. Now. I, you can see I did all of these on this layer two right here, and I have that open. So if you just click this down button, you can see them. Um, I'm gonna move myself up here. Okay, now what I want to do is to make some shapes out of these. But first I'm gonna choose my pen tool right here, this one, and I'm just gonna click on the end of each one and kind of drag it down to make it bigger and then click on the other end so i just made a shape now i do it again for each one of these and is this the easiest way to do this i don't know maybe maybe not if it's not letting you end your shape you can just click enter and it will let you what i do know is that it works click here again enter and then last one right here click down and select enter so what i just did was made a bunch of shapes so here's one shape two shape three shape four shape five shape and i'm also going to make a rectangle and put that in here too for my background just like that cover my canvas okay good now uh, what i want is for this rectangle to be below everything else this one to be above the rectangle this one to be above this one etc so what i'm going to do you can see that when i have one selected you see a little red square so I'm going to start with my rectangle right here, and my red square shows me that that is selected. I'm just going to take this layer and drag it to the bottom. Okay, next, I've got this one right here. I'm just going to click on that one, and I know that's number two. Okay, next one. This one is going to be number three. Helps if you say the number out loud. Then this one right here is going to be number four, and I can see it is one, two, three, four. This one right here, number five, already number five. This one right here, number six, already at the top. Very good. Now we're just going to take these in order on the way down, starting with this one. And I'm going to go back to my swatches, and I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to start with this, pink, this like orange color. And you can see that's my outline. I don't want an outline or a stroke. I just want a fill. So I'm just going to switch these like that. Click on this one, and I'm going to do this one another way. I'm going to click on my stroke and 
turn it to transparent so I can't see it. Then I'm going to click on my fill and choose a color. I like that color. Let's go a little bit more earthy on these ones. So I'll click here, transparent, click here, um, yellow. Nice. Okay, click this one. Let's do it the other way now. Switch them and then choose pink. Very good. This one right here. This transparent, this nice blue. And then I choose my rectangle, and I don't want to line on that one either. I'm just going to choose black. And that is how you do it like this. And you can, you know, click them and choose different colors and whatever you want. 